Hey guys, just wanted to break down this trade that we've kind of, well, we've hit TP2 now officially after the CPI news. So just wanted to break it down and show you exactly how we got into this. And again, you always get the people that are saying, oh, but it's easy to analyze trades after it's happened. But I mean, let me let me show you. So again, you can see, I just had to put this in a group, TP2 smashed. Okay, so this was the initial trade. So you can see here, when was this? This was Friday. Okay, so for what day was Friday? Like uh, the 11th? 10th, something like that. Okay, so you can see here before it actually happened. Again, before the actual entry actually happened, you can see there, Jeff's physical bar. Again, buy limit. Yeah, you see, this is the group that I posted it in. Um, 20 pip stop loss, TP1. Again, you, you see the whole lot. So it, it happened, or it didn't happen before I actually posted it. So again, I know there's some people that just love to say stuff for the sake of it. So just thought, you know, I hate, I hate actually showing stuff like this, but again, get some people that's randomly comment the shit like, Oh, but it's easy to analyze after it's actually happened. But this is literally evidence proof that I sent it before it actually happened. And then again, yeah, updates. This is when we actually tapped in. Okay, actually, no, this is for gold. Was it it's for gold? Yeah, this is for gold um, last week. And then, yeah, I mean, you can literally see everything in there. So again, TP, TP2 just got smashed. I mean, still holding this. So again, if you know the way I trade, I take partials and let the rest ride. So again, as soon as a TP1 was hit, took some partials and then let the second one ride full lot size. And then when it got to this area here, um, I took some more partials in that second trade and it's led to let the rest ride. So it's doing two trades right now and just holding it. So as far as it goes up, I've still got an area of 125 in mind. So we'll see exactly how that happens. But again, simple, simple trade. So again, it's exactly what we always do. So when I come into um, this, so again, it's literally the same thing. So this is my signature move. Okay, so when I see these highs, again, this is the entry that I wanted initially when we was in this area. Okay, unfortunately, price just actually, so when we was in this area here, I want the price to come into here and then hit us in here and then take it down into this area here so we can actually buy in exactly what happened here. Okay, but unfortunately, we wasn't actually able to get any sales from this area. So again, when we're looking at this, we're looking for the same things over and over again. Lows to be taken. And then we see these areas, liquidity gets taken. And then we take it out, take out the previous high or area of interest. And then we continue with the trade. So how did that unfold? Again, we marked out the specific area because this was the last demand, demand candle before it actually shot up. We saw what happened here. We took out liquidity. We got the signature move. Okay, so we see everything that's always happened. It's always a sequence. So understanding that, that's how I knew this trade was going to play out. What else did we have? Okay, what else did we have? We had an area of IPA through here. We also had an Asia session low here. So these two combined together with our demand area, I knew this was probably going to be a very good area to trade in because we had an Asia session low, we had IPA and our demand candle on our H1. So understanding that, you can see exactly why I sent out the signal to the team for everyone to actually get in, okay? Because, I mean, it just made sense. It just made absolute sense. So once we've seen this, boom, tapped in, okay? Hold it since Friday. Again, Friday is probably not the best day to trade, but again, the market is going to do what it's going to do, right? So I said it's either going to happen here or it's not going to happen at all. So as that starts happening, we held it over Friday. We saw what happened yesterday, okay? It was in profit, hit 60 pips officially. And then after today, with CPI news, okay, we had an Asia session um, created, took the Asia session out, and then we used that as our new found support. And as you can see what happened in the last two hours, we've actually smashed our TP target. So very, very easy trades to take. Again, if you're interested in actually joining our group here, we've got like 300 plus people in this group right now. Again, just send me a DM saying gold mine, okay, to my IG, or just simply comment on YouTube, um, and then we'll see how we can take it from there. But yeah, very, very clean trade. Um, I look forward to doing more of these because I, I've got the energy for the game again. Again, I didn't upload for a long time because I personally wasn't trading for a long time. I just took some time off the, off the market, some time to myself to travel and do some family stuff. And I'm back in the game again. So yeah, if you do want to connect, you want to be part of the team, just send me a DM saying goldmine and then uh, we'll take things from there. So until next time, guys.